Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how to convert an excel sheet into a PDF with just a one click button. We will be using Visual Basic codes to achieve this. First we have a sample invoice sheet that we need to convert into a PDF. You will go to the developer tab, Visual Basic here. You will insert a new module. Here you can copy and paste the code. The code is available in the description. So in the code, in this line we will specify the invoice number which is in cell let's check it out it is in cell f6 so we will rename it to f6 then we have the customer name which will be in cell b10 do it b10 next this line constructs the file name of our pdf for example here it is invoice number dash and customer name so it will be something like this first we will have the invoice number dash dash customer name like this so now let's check it out we will insert a new button from here assign it the macro let's rename it You can adjust the print settings. This will be applied to the PDF as well. Let's check it out. A pop up will come where you will have to specify the location of the PDF. Notice the file name which is invoice number dash customer name. Let's save it. Let's check it out. As you can see the file has been saved. So now you want the PDF name to be something like this. Customer name plus the date. For example, customer name and date. Something like this. So we will go to our code. Instead of invoice number, we will specify the invoice date. You can name it anything you want to, which is in cell F7. Let's name to F7. Then we have the customer name AM in the cell B10. Here we will construct the file name. So we will need it as customer name plus date. So first we have the customer name. Let's study this. We will use and to join two variables. Use inverted commas for dash and invoice date. Let's check it out. You can see it is like this the customer name plus the date of the invoice. Let's save it. The file has been saved. So now instead of specifying the location every time, you can specify the location of the PDF in your code and it will automatically save it to that location. For that, go to our Visual Basic, use a different code. The code is in the description. Now we will adjust the code like before. Our invoice number is in cell F6. The customer name is in cell B10. Here you will specify the location where you want to save the PDF. Let me show you how. For example, this is a folder where I want to save my PDF. Right click, go to properties, copy this location, and right here, add a backslash. Now you will enter the name of the last folder where you want to save it. In this case, it is PDF. I will write PDF and enter backslash. So now let's check it out. We will have to reassign the code. So now let's check it out. 
pop up will come that says video file has been saved let's see here you can see the PDF file has been saved like before like this you can adjust the name of the file like you want as well as the location of the file hope you like the video